Welcome to Qigong, Jackie and others. Okay. So having had six weeks of flying, some nine hours, some seven hours, some 10 hour waits, I really, really felt the need for my body to be stretched out again after being sort of cubby hold for hours at a time. So I'm going to do a couple of the stretches that I found really, really useful over this last six weeks. And the first one is tiger stretches, his claws. So first of all, just get your standing qigong position to feel your tailbone dropping down, lengthening the lumbar spine, soft knees, soft ankles. And then feel your spine growing taller as you tuck your chin in and your head's lifted to the sky. So we're making space in the spine. Cervical spine stretching up, lumbar down, and soften your knees. And tiger stretches your claws. It starts with a spiral down below, and then hollow fists as you come up. Feel as if you're pulling all the fascia in your body longer as you come up, stretching above your head, dropping your tailbone. And when you get to open your shoulders and your shoulder blades are rising up, now we do another little spiral here, spiraling in. So getting the stretching the arms and the shoulders plus the spiral, then we get a really good fascial stretch here. Coming back, hollow fist and coming down, soften your knees, drop your tailbone. Breathing in as you come up and lengthen your body. Feel your body getting longer and longer and longer, opening your shoulder joints dropping your lumbar spine and spiral around little claw hands there and down um, in breath as you come in and stretch around and do a little spiral down here as well Hollow fists, pull up, breathing in and opening up. So I felt that real need to elongate the spine, but I also felt the need to elongate with a bit of rotation through. So one hand behind your back. So we're going to spiral the arms here. Thumb facing down and keep your lumbar spine in one place as you spiral the rest of the spine on top, looking behind at your hand and spiral your arm around as you reach up and come around to the other side. Come back to center and drop down. In actual fact, we're going to allow your hips to turn now. Look at your hand. Soften your knees, spiral your arm around. Watch your hand as you're moving. Very good to track the movements of your hand or anything that's moving, a flock of birds. Very good for your eyesight coming down and your balance. Coming across, thumb down, look behind you. Lengthen your spine as you spiral there. Coming up, so we're coming up with that spiral, turning around, coming down. So we're coiling and uncoiling. Fantastic for the fascia. Looking at your thumb, comes round, up, watching your hand, coming back and down. Right, so a bit of stretching. The other thing I really found the need to do was push mountain to hold sky. So pushing, pushing the mountain, holding the sky and separating on a diagonal the fascia, the muscles open the joints of the spine, coming back little fingers past each other, Pushing mountain, hold sky. This is part of a stomach and spleen sequence. 
And we know that stomach and spleen is very good for grounding. And we've been, been up in the air for a while. It's very nice to ground again, come back. I could step forwards, push mountain, hold sky, come back. Push mountain, hold sky, come back. Push mountain, hold sky, bend your knees, so tuck your chin in, come back. To wave to my neighbor at the same time, come back. So we've done quite a lot of spiraling and uncoiling and getting the length back into the spine, but we need to get the width back, open the heart to the sky. And of course, open the back of the spine, back of the thoracic spine. Open up the front of the body, making space for the lungs, making space for the heart. Drop your tailbone down, feeling that length through the spine at the same time as you're getting the horizontal space. Breathing out. Breathing in. Pulling your hands back. We're doing it quite slowly, giving the fascia time to, to stretch, to loosen up here. Drop your tailbone, feel your head lifting up as you come Forwards, feel you making space between the shoulder blades at the back, and one more out. Bring in. And coming down. Take your legs out a little bit, and we're going to move the body like a river. So there's been so little movement while you've been sitting in the plane. <laughs> but in actual fact, I tend to get up. And I found a little space in the plane and I do things like this. I, people think I'm a little bit funny. That's fine. <laughs> you can do moving the body like a river quite innocuously without them sort of thinking, you know, is that lady, what is she actually doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sink down in your knees if you can there. And let's do a, a wave pushing pushing the water. Actually lovely doing this because you're getting the upper and the lower spine sort of one clicking into the other, breathing into one side, breathing out to the other side. So this you might actually take with you and do it in your hotel room when you get in as well, before you go to bed. Breathe out. And then. Out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. And relax. Good. The other part of your body that really needs a bit of help after being the plane is the gut. So the gut has been all cramped up for quite a while and probably your eating schedule has been knocked off. So the bear turns his, turns his waist here. It's very good to move the gut because all the gut's organs are attached to the spine. So we're going to put our hands just either side of the navel here. It's a very important stomach point, stomach 25. And your hips are going to stay still. Let your head and your body move forwards a little bit. And then we do a side bend. It's a nice slow one. Be careful of your back. Back bend. Side bend and forward. You go around three times in one direction. Around. And one more. And in the opposite direction. But let's stand up first. Just feel your body elongate before you go in the opposite direction. Go. And I think I'm going in the opposite direction. <laughs> Got a short term memory lapse there. Forwards. Side bend, back. Side bend, forwards. Side bend, back. Side bend, forwards. And up you come, shake out your legs there. 
The other one I found very, very useful, again, just feeling that this whole waist area gets really sort of compacted when you fly. And you're not doing your normal exercise that you would do when you're at home. So we're going to do bare sways. Bare sways his body and he sways his body through the waist and hip area. So one leg's going up, opposite arm is coming up, and you step forwards. And as you step forwards, you swing around. Weight comes onto the forward leg and you open. So you're opening through the waist there. Then you come back, weight on the back leg and open to the other side. Swing forwards and open and breathe out. Weight goes on the back leg. I find this a really, really great exercise for the waist, for digestion and strengthening, strengthening through the waist as well. Breathing in. Breathing out, weight forwards, weight back, weight forwards, weight back, and step up. So now we're going to lift opposite arm with leg, bring the weight forwards and turn, and weight back and turn. Bear swaying. Moving through the center. Feel the heaviness of the bear, but the stability of the bear. It's a really good balance exercise as well. I'm trying to do this just about every second day if I can manage it. I should do it every day. But it's a really, really good exercise to perfect. Weight forwards and turn. Weight back and turn. Weight forwards and weight back. And relax. Good. Let's do a little bit of breathing. Because we're not moving, we're not breathing deeply in the plane either. So just have a couple of deep breaths. So we do the lung flow, opening up and holding up the sky, dropping your tailbone, lifting your arms up, opening through the ribs, and down, spiral down, hold a ball. In and out through the nose, breathing in through the nose. And breathing out through the nose as you come down. Breathing in through the nose. Once you come up there, one arm up, one arm down. Push mountain horse sky. Breathe in and over to the side, making a space between the ribs, stretching your intercostal muscles, getting all air out on one side, and you're, and you're opening up on the other side. You can take a couple of breaths in that one position. Try and get your arm back so you're not forwards. Come up and change. Breathe in, breathe out, and a couple of breaths in that position. And come back. And we'll just do a swimming dragon. Just to get some nice side bend through the spine as well. Remember, you're not just moving your arms, you're actually moving through the spine at the same time. And slowly working your way up through the vertebral joints, being aware of any area that might be a little bit stiff. So you get right to the top, tippy top. And once you get to the tippy top, you're going to come up on your toes because the calves are the other things that we need to give a little bit of work after being in the plane. And breathe out and come down. The other thing that some of you might fall asleep in funny, very funny positions in the plane. So let's just do spreading the feathers. Get a bit of movement through the neck. Hands coming forwards, bottom going back. Shoulders down and spiral there. Breathing in and breathing out and dropping your head slowly down to your shoulder. Staying there for maybe a breath or two. Coming up, breathe in. Breathe out and drop down. 
down, 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 down to the other side. Feel any stretch going through your trapezius or your neck muscles coming up. Back of the hands forward, spiral behind you and come around. Tuck your chin in, breathe in and drop, drop down. We're stretching the front of the arms, now the front of the neck. Come up and down to the other side. and come up right and then the other thing i found i really needed to work with was the fact that as i was in cities i started off in the beautiful most the beautiful gum trees and the galahs and the parrots in australia and then i flew over to the busy cold city of and a beautiful city of bucharest busy 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 and from there I went to Dubai, which was super, super busy. And so I went from six degrees to 38. But just the rushing around in the city, the city life, and all the things that happen in different cities um, come to you and they can knock you right off your center. And so I really felt the need to ground myself quite a few days. And it might even have been just about five or 10 minutes of Qigong. And it just made the difference of getting me centered before I went out for my day. So let's just start in the Qigong standing position because that gives us a sense of stillness, of quietness. Feel your feet on the ground. Soften your knees, your tailbone. Feel your long spine. Chin tucked in, head lifted up. And just notice where you are. Notice how you feel. I already feel a whole lot better having done my airport stretches. <laughs> All right, and let's just do a, a stronger rotation of the spine now because now I'm probably going to have to go out and face the traffic and face whatever your work is for the day. So you want to get some adrenaline and cortisol knocking on the adrenal glands here. I wouldn't have done this coming straight off the plane because my spine was already too stiff. So once it's warmed up a little bit, then one can start doing these other things. Now, wanting to bring some energy into the body here, face the day, knocking on the lung points here, one and two, shoulder nest, Getting rotation right through the low spine, up the spine, and then knocking over trapezius, which had a bit of a rough passage with your falling asleep, with your head in funny positions on the plane. Also knocking on gallbladder 31 for clarity of thinking. When you're flying, you know, you're sort of half asleep half the time. It's really nice to wake you up. And then down, shoulder nest. And over the kidneys, dream glands. Right. And slowly come to a stop, shake your legs a little bit. Right. The other thing about the city, traveling in the world, there's a whole lot of things that are really hard to handle and let's clear a little bit so sometimes there's just stuff that moves through a new environment that really is not great so many refugees and drug addicts and just people that are not particularly happy living in these situations so let's just clear some of that Well, tiger helping us to clear the way here and claim your space back again. I think sometimes so much of you goes out into what's happening around you that, as I said before, you kind of lose yourself. Coming up and down, coming back up. So there's your story and there's the world's story. 
and we're intertwined, but you don't particularly want to lose your story. Be part of the other story, but mustn't knock you off your center. Come back. And so let's just do a clearing for our body. Hasn't had a lot of sleep. It's been working really hard. Hands over your head, behind, back of the head, throat, down the front, over your kidneys, low back, coming up the front, up the spleen meridian, and breathe in. And breathe out, hands together over your head, just clearing, clearing, clearing. Down the neck, clearing the heart, clearing the lower dante end at the back. Breathing in, coming up. And one more, breathe in. Hands together over your head, down and around, all the way back. And coming up to the belly, kind of just saying, body, it's okay. You had a bit of a rough time, but you'll get through it. <laughs> you'll get through it. All right. So from there, let's open the heart to the sky. So really opening your heart to the world. Breathe out. Open. So allowing space for compassion for yourself and others. Sorely needed out there. And at the same time, realizing that you have to remain strong or become more powerful and strong. So let's do powerful dragon. So turning on the heel, turning the other heel, facing sideways, just get a position that works for you, dropping your tailbone so your upper body is up straight. And it's a push pull movement. So the Dragon pushes as he pulls and pushes as he pulls. So you just maintain your foot stance there. So it'll be a, a breath out. So come back a breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Your eyes are quite fierce and they're facing into the distance. They're looking into the distance. So holding your stance, holding your values, keeping your staying power, come back, turn on the one heel, turn on the other hand, heel, hands together, open your heart to the sky, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, and turn. Other hip around, drop your tailbone, body up straight, push and pull at the same time, push and pull, push and pull. I started this class feeling quite cold. I'm really warming up. These dragon exercises are very good to get your metabolism going. So feel the strength as you push, feel the strength as you pull back. Things are not what they always look like, not what they seem. All sorts of stuff going on out there. And push. Come around to the center and let's just open up. And close. And open up. So having... Had to toughen up a little bit. Really had the sense that a bit of punching was necessary. So um, remember, punching is about appropriate anger. Um, so taking a stance where it needs to be taken, um, but not excessive, no, not damaging anger. It's about appropriate. And we don't always think about anger, but it's a really important part of our lives. And... Sink down onto your legs, so you turn and push your thumb is on the outside of your hands. And we can do a nice fierce kyai, kyai or just a <laughs> 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 
Fear size. Fear size. This is a liver. Move and it's also very good for arthritis. I'm getting a bit of arthritis. It's very good for me to do. <sighs> Makes you strong. <sighs> and relax. And then there's this realization that you go through things, you're exposed to things. And so there's a kind of sense of finding the way forwards. So let's do parting the clouds and coming back. So it's getting clarity. Where was I? Where am I? Breathe in, breathe out. Going forwards and back, good for your balance. Breathe in, spiraling back. Breathe out, pushing forwards. Coming back. Change hands. Change feet. Pushing forwards. Coming back. Feel as if you're clearing your mind. Making space for new thoughts, new insights in your way. Just allowing your body to take decisions from a quiet place, from a centered place. And let's go then into tiger piercing the veil because I also found that was really appropriate move to do. So 45 degrees, open legs here, and the hands go away from you. And it comes from the tiger pierces the veil, the tiger coming home maybe through the mist in the evening sinking down coming up good strengthening for your legs as well your hands are being watched by your eyes by your tiger eyes coming down slowly breathing in as you go forwards as you come back and back turning so that we come to the other side one leg forwards one back drop your tailbone start up here and off you go around watching your hands with your eyes imagine that you are coming through probably could be a snowy forest pine forest at night back to your lair Change direction. Be aware of that shift of your weight forwards and back. And back. Step back. And let's stay with tiger and embrace tiger. Back of the hands together. Push forwards. And then all the way around, return to the mountain. Breathe out. Right down, breathe in, back the hands together. Breathe out, push forwards. Hands out, breathe in, all the way around. Clearing your space, holding your space, strengthen your space. Courage and the bravery of the tiger. And returning to the mountain, returning to a place of peace. Come back. Push forwards. Around. Come back. And from there, let's just do pulling down the heavens in the six directions. So you hold your hands up and open to the side. Drop your tailbone down. Open through your hands, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders all the way through the rhomboids to your spine. Tuck your chin in, long spine. Turn front and back. Open the front arm forwards. Back shoulder back. Lengthen that diagonal. Then bring your hands up to the sky. 
soft tailbone, drop it down and let your shoulders climb up your ribs there so you get more lengthening through the shoulders and slowly coming down, letting your hands just rest on the air as you come down. The air has substance just like water. Breathing in. Open, 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 drop your tailbone, tuck your chin in and turn. Feel that beautiful spiral through your waist, dropping the tailbone, lifting your head. And then up to the sky. Higher, higher, higher. And bring your hands down. Slowly hands come down to the belly, just below the navel, bring your feet together and wind in bamboo. So feel yourself rooting into the ground. Feel your heels, your pads of your front of the foot, even the toes, sides of the feet. Drop your tailbone, close your eyes. You may hear my dog eating the bone in the distance, in the background. Notice how your body rocks and sways. Feel the temperature of the air on your skin. And just allow your breathing to be long, slow and deep through the nose. And drop your hands. Slowly open your eyes. Good. Thank you for joining and have a great day.